I'm Christy Buran, and I'd like to welcome you to the Web Video Means Business Team. If you don't know him already, please let me introduce you to our chief YouTubeologist, maybe the most qualified expert anywhere on helping businesses use Web Video and YouTube to increase sales, Mr. Robert Scott. Thanks, Christy. And on behalf of the entire SEO for Video staff, let me welcome all of you to the team as well. We're thrilled to have the opportunity to present Web Video Means Business, the playbook. The first thing I want to stress is that this is a hands-on seminar. What you're going to see here may blow your mind, but it's for real. And the sooner you roll up your sleeves and get started on your own YouTube video campaign, the sooner it'll be true for your business as well. Okay, Robert, everyone's rearing to go. Where do we start? Well, before we get down to the nitty gritty on, on what to do, when to do it, and where to do it, in this first video, let's talk about the why. Let me tell you a little story about how my company discovered this incredible technique. Let's take a look at some typical results from a YouTube search. If you notice on YouTube, as usual, you have the yellowed out ads on top, and then you have your results below. So in this case, I put in Phoenix Aerial Video. And here you see the results below the ads. This video, this video, a number of these videos on the very first page were shot by my company for a client. We were hired by a Phoenix, Arizona advertising agency to do a number of commercials for a large Phoenix home builder. The video I'm clicking on right now is the result of one of the shoots. Our traditional technique is that when we upload a video for a client to proof, we would upload it to either YouTube or Vimeo or any one of the services out there so that the client could go up and proof it. And when we did, we would put our settings on the video to very tight privacy settings so that only our client could see it. So in other words, we weren't introducing our client's material to every, anybody who wanted to stop by the video. In this particular case, we shared ownership of the video we had shot. And so when we were uploading it for the client to proof some of the video, instead of just doing our traditional job of putting a tight privacy setting and maybe just calling it aerial video for proof, in this particular case, we threw our logo on top to make sure nobody could just steal the video. And then we included a title that gave some information about the video. And we uploaded a little information in the description box that you see here that is more than we ever normally would have uploaded. Normally, we would, like I said, we would probably have left this empty. And in this case, we included this extra information. The next morning after we uploaded the video, we had a call from a potential client who wanted to buy a piece of that video. When I asked them where they found, how they found the video so quickly, they said that they had punched into Google Phoenix Aerial Video and it came up with our video on the top of the page. So I said, you must mean you punched it into YouTube. And they said, no, we punched it into Google. So of course, I got off the phone. I hurriedly clicked over to Google and I put that same search in Google. Now that day, and this is about two years ago, when I did that search, our video came up number one. In the past two years, Google's made some adjustments to various searches. And so at this point, the video comes up number one in the video categories below it. But there are some other links that are listed above it. Now, just to make a point about that, anybody who's grown up in the 20th century, 21st century, has more of an appreciation for video than they do to go click on a website. If they see that cute little thumbnail, they have so much more likelihood of clicking on your link than they do to that web page above it. I'd say it's more advantageous to have your video there than your own website. If your website was number one and your video was number one video right below the website on page one of Google, I'd say people are much more likely to click on your video than they are on your website. More than two years later, those videos continue to return on page one of Google search results and generate sales. But more importantly, 
Those results allowed my company to confidently apply those techniques to the campaigns of current and future web video clients. And we've gotten stunning results. Okay, team, let's go.